Yeah. Well, we begin tonight with a message becoming all too common after a weekend in Charlotte. It's been yet another violent weekend. In just the last 24 hours, there have been five shootings, including two that have been deadly. One of those happened on the 2200 block of Kilbourne Drive in West Charlotte. Looking at the crime statistics for that area, you can see three assault charges and two larceny charges this month alone. We're less than halfway through May. WCNC Charlotte's Anna King went there to hear from neighbors about what's going on. I, I heard the shooting. I was in the bay, but I heard the shooting. But I ain't know nothing until I came up here just not to the store, you know. So and I don't be out at night. Not over here anyway. I don't. Because it's dangerous. It's really dangerous over here. <laughs> Charlotte Mecklenburg police are working tonight to put the pieces together on a homicide investigation. Around 5 a.m. Sunday, they got a call about an assault with a deadly weapon in East Charlotte. And when they got there, they saw a victim with a gunshot wound who was later pronounced dead. Neighbors say these instances aren't out of the ordinary. Well, I mostly be in the house. I don't, unless I come over here and go to the store or something like this. Most times it's killing or somebody getting hurt or something over here all the time. Yeah, it's a lot of bad stuff going around sometimes, but I don't like when usually when I be out, nothing happens. Everybody be chilling like this. Around here, you can see bars on business windows, no loitering signs and warnings of cameras to try to put a stop to the crime. It ain't no good area. It's not a good area. They're trying to straighten it up, you know, because now they had the police and the police sit and watch those two stores. So it's, you know, they, they try. That's all they could do is try. Still, they say these efforts haven't been enough and more needs to be done. CMPD is now investigating this recent shooting and is asking for the public's help with any information. In Charlotte, Anna King, WCNC Charlotte.